Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new demo. Today we have the new Raven Gloves and Greatsword, which the Greatsword looks really, really nice, I think. Um, it is quite flashy now, uh, don't get me wrong, but it's a, a nice flashy, I think. Maybe a little over the top. And the purple maybe doesn't quite go with the default dyes of the Raven gear, which we have the mantle and helm here from previous instances, but I quite like the... Uh, sort of imbued, spiritually imbued nature of it, I guess. But there we are. New gloves are quite armored. Let's take the mantle off so we can kind of see the gloves better. Quite nice, very armored, which is cool. Uh, it works well with the helm, of course, and well with the mantle as well. It has the same feathered look. I just think the mantle has a bit too many feathers, personally. As you can see, the sword does have a bit of a trail which is also quite nice, uh, of the sort of, I guess, spirit energy of Raven. And it looks quite good. But I think let's go check out the dies for the gloves. This is currently default, I think. Yes, default, which is iron, silver, oil slick, and brass, and the DirectX 11 has decided that it is now just pure white, which is fantastic. Here we go, lovely stuff. Okay, so there's pure Shadow Abyss compared to default dyes on the helm there, so you can kind of see it's a little bit darker. And um, personally, I kind of like it. Let's go for the individual channels. So top left is the feathers. Top right is gonna be the main portion of the armor. Bottom left is going to be the rim around the armor, just sort of highlights. Got the little buckle there. Quite nice. And bottom right is going to be the actual glove part of the gloves. There we go. So we have green on the top left. We have pink, purple on the top right. We have blue on the bottom left. And we have orange on the bottom right. I could probably get a better blue than that. stands out a little bit more so you can see all the different uh, layers together there oh I like there's a raven on the back on the elbow that's kind of cool right let's go check this out in all the different races and see how it looks across especially I'm kind of curious on Norn hopefully it looks best on Norn uh, as it is a raven spirit set all right let's do it here we are on Human with the new Raven Gloves, as well as the Raven Soul Greatsword. I think the mantle isn't too bad on the taller characters, because... I just, on a sir, it, it's just a bit too much. Which is annoying. But yeah, again, looks quite good. Oh, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> But yeah, the, the sword looks quite nice. Again, a little bit flashy, but I think overall it is quite nice. Got a little gemstone in the middle there. Doesn't seem to be too much, like, ravenness to it. Is that meant to be a raven's head there? It might be. I guess it's the, got the, like, talons of a raven. There we are. Let's move on to our next... Actually, let's have a look at the dies and then move on to our next character. So, the dies here. Uh, we have Baby Blue on the left. We have Electro Blue on the top right and Beige on the bottom right. And then we also have Baby Blue for the top and right for the helm and mantle. And then Electro Blue on the bottom left there. Alright, let's move on. Here we are on Silvari with the new Raven gear, we got the gloves and the greatsword, which looks quite nice. This pair of faux fire gear, uh, which is, I guess, an interesting combo. And again, the mantle doesn't seem too... It's not too cluttery, again, on a humanoid species. So I quite like how the greatsword fades when it's stowed. Compared to when it is not. V 
very nice indeed. It does not have a trail effect when it is stowed as well. Let's have a look at the dice. Uh, so we have iron on the top there, giving it a nice sort of metally look, and we have glory and grape gum for the highlights and the actual glove. Which does look quite nice. Alright, let's move on to our next race. Here we go. And here we are on Char with the new Raven gear. I think Mance might be a little bit big on Char, but we're mainly focused on the gloves here and the new Greatsword. But here is the Greatsword on Char. It looks very nice again. And the gloves are looking good too. I guess we'll have a quick look at it in combat. Oh, I missed. Come here. The effect gets a little bit covered by um, Necro's f chill. The aura, that is. But they're just dying straight away. Might have a look at it quickly on a Guardian, it might look nice. The blue might complement um, just the default aura of the weapon. But let's move on to our next character. Actually, no, let's look at the die and then move on to our next character. So dies wise we have blue steel and burnished steel on the top and burnished steel and oil slick down below. This guy's not going to leave me alone now. Ow. Oh, I have a torch on. That's annoying. Right, let's move on to our next character and, and leave this fight. <laughs> right, so speaking on that, I just wanted to have a quick look at it on Guardian. Yeah, I think Guardian works very nicely with it because it's already a bluish hue to the weapon skills. Yeah, it looks good. Right, on to Norn, finally. Here we are on Norn with the new Raven gear and a the old stuff as well. Those gloves look really weird in that die pattern. But there we go. Uh, I guess we can probably have a look in combat. I think the Choya event is up at the moment. But it looks quite nice. Again, I think the mantle on the humanoid isn't as overpowering as it is on the Asura. Mainly the Asura. Uh, I think it's just a bit too big. The sword looks nice. Let's have a look in action. Very nice indeed. A lot of choy here though. Well that is the greatsword and gloves on Norn. Let's have a look at the dies. Before we move back to Kwando to wrap up the video. We have Eerie Purple on the left, Lilac on the bottom right, and Pyre on the top right. All in all, I think the greatsword looks very nice. I think it's probably best on Necromancer, because Necromancer has the feather effect when you're using your greatsword, which just works really nice with the raving uh, theme, I think. Or else you also have Guardian, which is a very nice class for it as well, because, as I said, the blue sort of hue of the class blends nicely with the greatsword. Well, that's it for today's demo, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, and subscribe for more in the future. You can join the Discord. The link for that should be down below. And that will keep you up to date with all things new on the channel, such as new videos when I go live and our weekly screenshot challenge every weekend in Guild Wars 2. You can also join the membership program as well. The link for that is down below. Make sure to check out the giveaway as well. That should be in the end screen. And I'll be back later on in the week with some Guild Wars 1 for Winds of Change, uh, Guild Wars 2, and Bioshock. Until then, thank you so much for watching, take care, and enjoy the rest of your week.